question, we'll be talking about 60 seismic ideas, and it'll be probably a little longer than 60 minutes. Uh, but uh, we've got an hour and a half total, so we'll have plenty of time for Q&A at the end. I do want to recognize my co-author on this presentation, uh, which we've given at uh, the AISC Steel Conference in the past with Raphael Sibeli of Walter P. Moore. And I uh, just want to recognize Raphael for any of the kind of graphics and things in the presentation were all uh, due to Raphael's expertise, not mine. So thanks, Raphael. Okay, um, so uh, basically this is kind of rapid fire. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of topics to get through, so uh, try, trying to go about one per minute, uh, plus or minus. So the first one is uh, when you can, um, you should use the R equals three systems when you're in areas of low seismic demand, so seismic demand, demand category C or lower. Um, that allows you to do your design without needing to deal with the AISC seismic provisions document. Um, so you can work with ASC 7, 10, or now 16, and uh, in a ISC 360. Um, but uh, as I mentioned, you do have to also make sure that um, if you're in a, a low seismic zone that wind won't control your base shear, um, that uh, even if that happens, you still have to deal with the seismic chapters of ASC 710, um, even though they, it doesn't control the base shear. And uh, there's another a good I, a tip here is there's something called the reserve system. And there are, are papers out um, on this by uh, folks at that um, uh, at Tufts University, and I'm blanking on his name right now, uh, Eric Hines, H-I-N-E-S, uh, who wrote some good papers on the reserve system that can get uh, better performance for R equals three type systems. So, um, and you can also use the R, higher R factor, um, but then you would have to go through and use the AISC 341 um, and follow all the detailing rules is probably a more expensive structure. Okay, we'll think, we think when uh, we're talking about seismic design that ductility is our friend. So we're, we always need to be trying to build in as much ductility into our systems as possible uh, because we recognize that in, when we get a major earthquake, we're not going to just have an elastic responding structure as we would design for most, uh, most loads on our structures. Um, so steel is quite ductile, um, and you can, uh, if you if you use it properly, you can get a lot of ductility out of it. Um, but uh, you really need to be working toward that, and we'll be talking about that in another a number of the slides going forward. Okay, and then the next item idea is to think about uh, targeted yield mechanisms for your seismic systems. 